In this video we share Our Lady and the prophecy of St. Louis de Montfort for the last days. St. Louis Marie de Montfort was a French Roman Catholic priest and confessor. He was known in his time as a preacher and is known for his particular devotion to the Blessed Virgin Mary and the practice of praying the Rosary. The following comes from St. Louis de Montfort in his treatise on true devotion, paragraphs 49 and 50. God wishes to make Mary better known in the latter times. God wishes therefore to reveal Mary, his masterpiece, and make her more known in these latter times. Because she kept herself hidden in this world, and her great humility considered herself lower than dust, having obtained from God, his apostles and evangelists the favor of being made known. Because, as Mary is not only God's masterpiece of glory in heaven, but also his masterpiece of grace on earth, he wishes to be glorified and praised because of her by those living upon earth. Since she is the dawn which precedes and discloses the Son of Justice Jesus Christ, she must be known and acknowledged so that Jesus may be known and acknowledged. As she was the way by which Jesus first came to us, she will again be the way by which he will come to us the second time though not in the same manner. Since she is the sure means, the direct and immaculate way to Jesus and the perfect guide to him, it is through her that souls who are to shine forth in sanctity must find him. He who finds Mary finds life, that is, Jesus Christ who is the way, the truth and the life. But no one can find Mary, who does not look for her. No one can look for her who does not know her, for no one seeks or desires something unknown. Mary then must be better known than ever for the deeper understanding and the greater glory of the Blessed Trinity. In these latter times Mary must shine forth more than ever in mercy, power and grace, in mercy, to bring back and welcome lovingly the poor sinners and wanderers who are to be converted and return to the Catholic Church, in power, to combat the enemies of God who will rise up menacingly to seduce and crush by promises and threats all those who oppose them, finally. She must shine forth in grace to inspire and support the valiant soldiers and loyal servants of Jesus Christ who are fighting for his cause. Lastly, Mary must become as terrible as an army in battle arrayed to the devil and his followers, especially in these latter times. For Satan, knowing that he has little time, even less now than ever, to destroy souls, intensifies his efforts and his onslaughts every day. He will not hesitate to stir up savage persecutions and set treacherous snares for Mary's faithful servants and children whom he finds more difficult to overcome than others. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you. Our Lady, Queen of Peace, pray for us.